On behalf of Alex and Laura, they would like to welcome you as they share in this celebration of marriage. Genesis chapter 2 says, But still there was no helper just right for him. Then the Lord said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a helper who is just right for him. So the Lord caused man to fall into a deep sleep. While the man slept, the Lord took out one of the man's ribs and closed up the opening. Then the Lord God made a woman from the rib and brought her to the man. It's very significant that God chose to take a rib from Adam because a wife is to be a helper and a soulmate to walk side by side. He didn't use a foot because it was not for man to put a woman under his foot. And he did not use the head because it was not for the woman to rule over the man, but to be side by side and helping one another. Today, Alex and Laura are making a commitment to uphold the institution of marriage that God has created and ordained from this day forward. They do this in response of their love for each other and also their belief in God and both of them claim the Lord Jesus Christ as their Savior and Lord. God drew them together through their desire to serve Him. I can remember when they were playing in our praise band, Alex was the new kid on the block and Laura had, had grown up in the church and all of a sudden the guitar player started noticing the keyboard player. <laughs> And then, as with any group, uh, the matchmakers started getting involved, and then it was on a mission trip to where many of us got to see uh, this come together. It was a beautiful thing. You should have seen it. The entire group trying to make sure that when we had meetings that they could sit beside each other, <laughs> doing the math to make sure that they could ride in the log flume together. I mean, it was something that bonded us together. But in all, all joking aside, they've been drawn together because of their love for Christ, their love for serving God, and their faithfulness for loving God, and also their love of music. And we are so grateful and we all rejoice in your union here today as you get married. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you this day for bringing the lives of Alex and Laura together. Thank you for their wonderful families who loved, nurtured, and prepared them for this moment. As we continue in this ceremony today, may everyone see that we can only know true love through Jesus Christ as our personal Savior and Lord. This true love is the same love that has united Alex and Laura into one. Since they are no longer two but one, let no one split apart what God has joined together. Okay, now you come sit, stand beside Dad. There you go. Alex, will you have Laura to be your wife to live together in the covenant of marriage? I will. Laura, will you take Alex to be your husband to live together in the covenant of marriage. I will. And Alex, will you love her, comfort her, honor her, and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as both you both shall live? I will. And Laura, will you love him, comfort him, honor him, and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? I will. Who presents this woman to be married this day? Her mother and I. Okay, now y'all can get closer together. Maybe hold hands or something like that. <laughs> okay. Now we come to the wedding vows. Alex, will you repeat after me? I, Alex. I, Alex. Take you, Laura. Take you, Laura. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. With deepest joy I receive you. With deepest joy I receive you. Into my life. Into my life. 
that together we may be as one. That together we may be as one. As is Christ to his body. As is Christ to his body. And the church. And the church. So I will be your loving and faithful husband. So I will be your loving and faithful For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer for poor. For richer for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. From this day forward. From this day forward. Until death do we part. Until death do we part. Laura, would you repeat after me? I, Laura, I, Laura take, you, Alex, take you, Alex, to be my husband, to, be my husband to, have to have and to hold from this day forward. With deepest joy, I receive you into my life. That together we may be one. That together we may be one. As you have pledged to me your life and love, as you have pledged to me your life and love, so I too happily give you my life. So I too happily give you my life. And in confidence submit myself. And in confidence submit myself to your headship as to the Lord. To your headship as to the Lord. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For rich or for poor. For rich or for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. From this day forward. From this day forward. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. From the earliest time, the ring has been a circle and a symbol of completeness, a symbol of unbroken love, an unbroken and never-ending circle that celebrates a commitment of love to this never-ending commitment. These rings on the outward will be uh, visible and they're going to have to be polished over time and maybe there will be times to where you'll find yourself having to take them off for a moment whether it to be to to work in the yard or, or whatever you may do maybe Alex you'll take it off and spin it on your desk who knows <laughs> but these these rings are an outward sign of the commitments that you've made in your hearts today and with these rings, as often as you look at this symbol, I pray that you are reminded of the commitment you have made to each other today and before all of these family and friends that are here. So Alex, what token do you bring to represent your love? <laughs> Okay, now take your hand and repeat after me before you put it on. Okay? Repeat after me, Alex. I, Alex. I, Alex. Give to you, Laura. Give to you, Laura. This ring. This ring. As a symbol of my commitment. As a symbol of my commitment. To love, honor, and respect you. To love, honor, and respect you. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. Laura, what token do you bring to represent your love today? This ring. Oh, you got it already. Here, I'm <laughs> This ring. Yeah, good. Take his hand. Okay. Are you ready to repeat after me? Yes. Okay. I, Laura. I, Laura. Give to you, Alex. Give to you, Alex. This ring as a symbol of my commitment. This ring as a symbol of my commitment. To love, honor, and respect you. To love, honor, and respect you. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. I'll let you get it on the rest of the ring. Okay, now hold hands. Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you for the institution of marriage which you have ordained, which represents the union of Jesus Christ and your church. Please bestow your blessings of mercy and grace upon Alex and Laura as they love, honor, and cherish and serve one another. Protect them from the evil one that would seek to attack this commitment. We pray this through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns in the world and the world to come. Now you may look at each other. By the power ordained to me by God and vested by the state of North Carolina, I now pronounce you man and wife. Alex, you may kiss your bride. Okay, now face the crowd. Hold hands. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Miss York. Now you get it out of here. You're married.
got one more. This one is going to be most sets of parents in the bride and groom.